How's it going, everybody? Civil here, and in this video, I'm bringing you a play out of a for or out of a formation that's uh really not used ever online. It's a uh, cool flex. It's only found in the run balance and the run and gun playbooks. I don't believe it's found in anything else. I've never seen it in anything else, especially not this play. Uh, this was actually shown to me by uh, CCG Fancy, who is a friend I talk to quite a bit. He's currently number one in the Cowboys Club Series, uh, which will be starting sometime next week or the following, uh, the following week. Uh, so he should do some pretty good things in that. But I'm um, getting to the actual play. Uh, the play is going to be PA slot corner. Uh, you can tell right here that we have a crossing route, we have a corner route. Uh, so this play, you can just tell by the player that this play is actually going to be really good. Now, out of this formation, the, most of the other plays are pretty not very good, really. Uh, we have dive, which is uh, pretty, uh, it's all right. We have uh, mesh, which is decent. But really, the good play is going to be PA slot corner. And we're just going to go up against a random zone defense. And so you guys see, like I said before, we have that corner route and we have that crosser, which are two really important routes in any offense. We have them in the same play here. So we could do a lot of different things out of this. Um, really, I'm just going to be trying different things out as I go. But I know a few things that I do like out of it already are going to be just max protecting. We're going to fade X. We're going to drag A. And then we're going to streak Y. And we're going to see what happens here. So we have the drag open. We're going to wait. And we can throw this. Now I'm gonna jump into insert replay. I'm gonna show you what happens to the coverages here. Uh, so immediately we have this drag underneath. Now if you're in a game, you wanna hit this right away. Don't wait on it. But we do have this drag open. Now we also have this corner route open right here. We could definitely fit this in with uh, towards the sideline. And then you guys see, we throw this fullback streak. Now. This streak right here is pushing back the deep zones just enough to where we can fit this throw in. And if you watched my video last week, we can click on and ag it coming back. And we are able to make the catch for a good 20 yards. So we'll run that right here once again. So this is how the play should look. We're gonna snap it. And so this time we hit the corner route uh, the drag was also open. Uh, there's some other things we can do. Um, if you wanted to say they're sending a lot of pressure, we can just do something like this. Uh, snap it. You know, we have the in route. If we want to wait on it, we can wait on this corner route, which we get, is going to get open. Uh, that corner route's going to get over basically over every single flat zone that I've seen so far. Uh, we'll run this one more time. Or even if you want to block the tight end and keep the uh, table route. That's definitely something you could do. So we see we have the table route right away. We're gonna wait on the corner, throw the corner. Really kind of a bad throw, but that corner route is really good. And then also you can make kind of a motion scheme out of this where say we want to motion, say we want to set it up like this. Um, and then say we want to motion them over and snap it right here. And as long as we get time in the pocket, we're going to be able to hit him late. Now that would be, if someone's blitzing you, you're not going to be able to really do that. But that is one of the th many things that we could do out of this formation. Uh, we could also do something along these lines where, now if we want to start using the crosser, uh, if we want to also throw in motion, we could do something like this. Where, we now have this, we have a playmaker underneath, hit the playmaker and you know maybe hurdle someone to get a few yards uh that's definitely something good that's a really good uh route combination right there and that's not something you're gonna be able to find out heavy formations like this quite a bit uh you could also do another curl so we got two curls and if we just decide to wait on that that is a nice little check down right there but if we wait on that the crosser is gonna get open i'll show you the crosser right here this uh, the crosser should get open it does and that's a good 30 yard gain right there so you see <coughs> excuse me uh, I did not mean to snap the ball but you see that this play has two really good routes um some else you could do with that little motion is say we want to max protect and then we want to do something like this And now we're gonna put the user in pretty big conflict where he's gonna have a lot of troubles. Uh, better throw, we're able to hit that for sure. 
Um, I'll show it again this time. You might not even need a, you might be able to hit this post route late. Let me see. So you are actually able to hit that post route right about there, which is actually really nice. So without even a clear out route, we're able to hit that post route. So let me just see that one more time, because that's actually really good. So this is simply the route combination right here. Snap it. And we're going to have that crosser. We have that post right there. And you see, we you click on agate. You're not always going to get a one-handed animation. Usually you get a little bit better animation than that. But that's another thing that we can definitely do. Uh, if we wanted to kind of get creative with our running back, we could start doing stuff like this. Where... So now we have a trail concept and a flood concept. We wait. You know, the corner route's open. <laughs> Hit the corner route. Take your 30 yards. You know, so this is going to be a lot of different things that it's really going to replicate a lot of the route combinations that you get from Gun Bunch and Trips Tight End even. And we're under, we're in a pretty heavy package where we're under center. Um, people aren't going to really be expecting this because they've never seen this before. So for the last thing, we could do something like this where we get high low so you see we have that and so if they play underneath cover you have the corner if they play over top you're gonna have the wheel let's see if we can get the wheel right here so right here we have the wheel as he turns up he gets it usually you get a little bit better rack animation but even with that we get about six yards so even that right there is a great uh does a great play overall Another setup we could do is, or rather, I messed that up. Let's see what this hap what happens when we do this. I did mess that up. Yeah, it's not very good. So if we motion over B, we could do something like this. We fade him. And this could be the route combination. Or if you want someone to come back the other way. And we have RB right here. You see RB is definitely wide open. Uh, they matched on X, so he was not open. But So uh, you definitely want to take the open guy when you see him. I was just doing that for demonstration purposes. So if we did something like this again. Even something like this isn't terrible. We don't have RB, but we see we're going to have B late. And it's really just a matter of being able to make the catch. But you see that is a safe throw where he's, as long as you get the throw on the target, he's not going to get picked off. The last thing I might do with this is putting in, um, let's see, some kind of a combination like this. Snap it. And with the match man, that's typically not going to happen in online games. Match man is not going to happen typically. Uh, if they do start doing that, let's say someone keeps on running a bunch of main coverage on you, you can slant, or rather we can um, slant B, max protect, fade A, motion him across, snap him when he's in motion, and he's going to beat man coverage every time when he's like that. There was a man covered right there, and we see that X is open, but we got hit as we threw against, I think it was a three-man pass rush. But you see, overall, this is really a great um, a great pass play. We also have dive, and the, when you're running dive, you want to make sure you go into the quarterback's hand, like his dominant hand. So, Matt Ryan, you want to flip this to the right. And then I like to do something like this, where motion Jones over, wait for him to pass a tackle, snap it, get him to go into the line of scrimmage. Right there, we got insta shedded, but uh, this is gonna be a good way to keep people honest, especially with that motion. This time, we're gonna do Sanu, snap him, and that's just terrible run stick. But you see, there is a hole right there. We'll run it one more time. There we got motion Jones over, snap it right here, get him to go into the line. This time, we're gonna break it out. Uh, that's definitely not the best run play, but it is something to help keep the defense honest, especially if they start. Um, Spread, you know, do the common blitz setups where they're spreading the line, stuff like that. That'll definitely help keep them honest. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. Um, club series is coming up, so if you're looking to qualify for that, make sure you look at uh, the Madden League Ops Twitter and the um, just EA uh, Madden webpage. And to learn more about that, it's going to have salary cap. 
Um, if you guys are interested in more videos like this, and if you like this video, make sure you hit like, subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon for all of Ace and I content, and I will see you guys next time.